I did you see it when we were standing um, here because of all the books on the right. floor? Yeah. Um, you were quite upset when we spoke to you a month ago. Uh, how do you feel about it um, now? Yeah, I mean, we've all been in shock for a month. Um, yeah, I'm still very upset, but I've just had to get on with it and sort out uh, and make the best of, of a bad situation, really. And do you have a better idea now as to how long it's going to take to get up and running? Um, I would imagine it would take at least six months, if not more, because there's a lot to do here, as you can see. This is you, you mentioned, actually, when we were talking to you about how the shop went right down to the yeah. back. Uh, we can get a good idea that now it's quite a large shop. Uh, and the whole thing, of course, having to be gutted. Yeah, everything needs to be done. Um, yeah, uh, all so new shelves, everything. And yeah. When do you think you'll open? Next summer would be good, but I have no idea until we have a full structural okay. survey. And this is, this is a book that you're just launching today, isn't yes, it? Cock and Mouth Floods? Yes, today, yeah. And uh, that's just ne virtually next door to you, isn't it, there? It is. But an idea of the, the terrible scenes that were happening here on the, in the early hours of that day. And there, the mess. Quite a historic, historic scene for Cock and Mouth. It is, absolutely, it? yeah. Something okay. to keep, yeah. And it's been, money is being raised for the uh, mountain rescue and the lifeboats as well. Okay. Catherine, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us again. Catherine, the owner of this bookshop, just one. 80% uh, of the businesses in Cockermouth were wiped out by these floods. And as you see, a long, long wait to get back up and running. For now, back to the studio. OK, thanks very much. Pretty grim stuff there, Chris. Thank you.